Hi guys, it's Candace. Welcome back. So, as promised, we're going to do our flip-throughs of these crazy cards gone wild. So, sit back and enjoy the show. So, on this one, it has two pockets in it. So, on this first pocket, I put this little journaling card in there. And then on the back pocket, it's just a little note card that says Mary and Bright with a little gnome on it. My stuff got too full in there, so I had to put something lightweight back here. <laughs> so we opened it up. I know they just get fuller and fuller. So we open it up, and this one's got a double pocket on there, and we just made this little tag. All of these are scraps that literally was laying around that you know, you've seen me chop up, cut up, and put inside here. So I just took some washi, bent it over the side just to pull in a little bit of the pink and stuff. And then this has got, it's a little tuck spot, but it's a journal card with a little belly band that we just made a little, little journal card that goes in there. And that just tucks in here. Put some washi down the side, washi on that side. And then on the back, just put a large pocket, and then I stenciled around there, and then just has a little journal card in there. So that's that one. I know, it's been a long time coming, huh? And then there's this one, you know, of course, we have on the little dots, our washies, I mean, whatever that is. Those are tulips on there. The other one had tulip on it, too. So this one has a little gingerbread journal card in it. It's got some gold metallic around the edge. And then this one has oops, a little Holly Jolly note card in there. Oops. Let's put it in there so it doesn't get caught on it. And then that goes in there. Okay, then you open it up. And this one has a, a flip up with journal space here with some coffee dye paper and you can journal here with the coffee dye and then just a little tag with some yarn on it and then that flips down and this just has it's got the um, gold um, metallic luster all around on the pockets and then this has just got a, a large tuck on the side with a little journal card on there I know like I said I started out simple and then I had so many scraps I just got crazy and then the back has this little bird and some washies on here. And then this little um, card, journal card on here. And then, like I said, we put the luster all on there. So that's that one. Then this one, it does not have the tuck. It, we started out as a card. <laughs> and then, well, you know. So this one, it's got the um, gold luster all around it. And so the back has this journal card. It's got a double pocket. I know it could go for a little taller thing, but hey, we were using scraps. And then we have this little card there. And then back here, it's got this journal card, this little tag. It goes in there. And then this little journal card. And then here is just a little piece of literally scrap that I just cut and made a little tag in it that goes over. And like I said, feel free when you get it to add some um, fussy cut stickers or whatever. Just, you know, doll them up. And then the back we have this little bird. That's a journal card. And then a pocket with some washies back there. And then, you know, the gold back there. And then this one... It's not a pocket, it's a card. I, I tried. I started and then just, like I said, poof. And then this one, I took one of the little houses and put washi on there for a, little, uh, a large side tuck. Then this is a little journal card. Then the back, I took a strip, made a belly band out of it, and then used another piece of um, some of the paper that I had and put it on there for a little double journaling with a belly band. And then over here... Um, just some negatives that I punched some blue snowflakes out of, glued um, some thin 
to some of my thin deli, not deli, thin vellum on the back of here. Put some washies and sticker down there. And then here, we did this together. Oh, I didn't put anything back there. What do I have? I know i got to find something. Shoot. I'm not supposed to be looking for anything, but I have a vacant spot. No, we can't have a vacant home. What color goes back there? <laughs> Can this go? Oh, ow, ow, I just hit my knee on something. Is this too? That's too little. Ow, crud. Anyway, hey, I have this over here. We can put some of this back there. So I'll cut that in a minute. I'll leave this out. It needs to have a journal card back there. Oh, see, I thought I was doing so good. And then we have this little card. So let me leave him, leave him hanging. And then you flip it. And then the back, um, we did the, I made that little cluster. And then I took and turned this into a flip up note card. So flip up, put some journal and paper there. This little, um, journal card we made and then just put a little pocket on there and then this just tucks underneath our little paper cluster ba -doom. and there's that I know you're gonna have to just give me a minute because if I don't do it now you know I'll never do it oh, gosh I know I'm sorry I could put you on hold um, two and a half by four and a half okay so let me get a two and a half and I'm sure I will find a piece of scrap that would have went in here just fine. Oh, I'm gonna chop my finger off one day. No, I told you when I first got my uh, guillotine, my big 12 inch one. <gasps> Lord, if it didn't have that plastic on there, and if I didn't have long fingernails, cause I'm telling you, I'd literally chop the end of my fingernails off cause they were longer than this. And I literally chopped the end of my fingernail off and I was like, oh my God. So I learned that that was a, a tool that you had to pay attention when you were using or you could lose a part. I have no doubt that that would not chop off a finger because it is a serious machine. It's a Tonic Studio one. And, ooh, but they're, they're all vicious. I mean, when you can cut a bunch of papers, you can cut your finger. Okay, so now there we go. That's done. So it has a little um, journal and spot on the back of some coffee dyed and stamped paper. So that goes in there. So that one's officially done now. <sighs> Thank y'all for waiting. Thank you for being patient. <laughs> oh, and then this one um, is a double, double front pocket. The back has some um, Merry and Bright. And... Doo -doo -doo. Got some of that silvery blue Nouveau drops on the front. And then this little journal card in the front. I know I should have stenciled on there, but y'all, I'm tired. I got to, I've got to move on to the next thing. I'm so far behind. I mean, hello. Okay. And then we open it up. We have a little pocket here. Then we have one of our little scrap tags. I put some yarn and a little hologram star and then um, another little house one that I added some extra space on here and then just put washi on there so it'd be a little bit bigger and then over here we have a double pocket and so we have this poinsettia bird journaling card and then this little tag with some pink iridescent washi on there and then on the back we have our little reindeer pocket with some washies and then a little um, bird journaling card. So that's that one. Okay, then this one is a card, not a double park, park it, a pocket. And um, we, oh, I did put some copper dots on the dots that were on the card just to give it some extra stuff. So the inside we have a flip up, a little flip up note note card there. I did stencil behind here because it's that linen white. And so that kind of tucks in behind there. And then one of our little boughs of holly with that on there. And then I did a little double double belly band pocket. Oh, I guess just a double belly band. And then put this large journal and card behind, punched the um, sides 
with one of the, the hole punches. Put some sparkle, sparkle car washi tape. And then this little um, tag with some washi tape. And he just goes in there. And then you flip it over. And then the back has, um, does the front have gold? Yes, the gold. The front has gold a luster on it and the back does too on this pocket and then it's got some green and gold washi and the little gingerbread man that goes in there so there's that one I know okay so this is where I really went crazy so these are the the um landscape ones I guess it would be yeah landscape <laughs> they have double pockets I think all of them there's five so in the front, they're, they're all a little different, and I sewed around these. So our front one, we have this journal card that we have just Merry Christmas on washi on the back, bottom, that goes in the back pocket. And then this one, I love this card. And then got some little farmhouse on the front. And then you open it up, and... You have a flip out here with journal and spot. And, I mean, we did this one together. And then this little this little wood, woodsy owl, he goes there. Well, I guess I need to take this out first. And then this little journal card goes behind that tuck spot. And then our little woodsy owl. And then our little mini tag. And then that tucks underneath this little candy cane tuck. And then this one has a right flip out that has a tuck spot with this little journal card. Lots of journaling everywhere. This little bitty tag that we had because it was a scrap laying around. I know. Let me tell you. <laughs> Scraps needed to run because I was on a mission. And then we have this little um, woodsy card in there. And then we did this little pocket with the gingerbread and then put this on here for it to be a little a tuck spot for there and then the back like I said if it, you're looking this way you flip it over the back we took a, a circle chopped the end off so it would go in there better because you know it looked best to me and then this little journal and circle and then back here we put this little the left facing little woodsy owl in there in this pocket so there's that one I know I have to keep one for myself, for my book. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning to this one. I don't know. I'm torn. So, then there's this one. Um, he has this one in the back. It's got some little snowman washi on it. And then I just put some little, some little extra fun on the back with some washies. And then the front. They do come out easy. I don't know why I'm, all right, why is this, oh, because I'm holding this. <laughs> don't hold the back pocket. Only pull on the front paper, Candace. <laughs> I'm like, my gosh. So I put double washi on here, and then flip it over, and I put some other washi on here. I know, I just went washi crazy, too. So, but like I said, when you're pulling these out, don't don't pull the back of the paper, because it, it won't come out. It's sewn and glued down. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, and then I took my little pink um, iridescent jelly pen and drew around there just to pull in some more of this pink. And then it's got the pink fuchsia Nouveau drops. And then you open it up. This one has a little ginger man that opens to the left, and I angled these corners so it opens there. This is a tuck spot. And just put this little Winter Wishes journal card on here. Put some washies. And then put a little pocket back here and a little tag. Put washies in a little let, us, let it snow. And then this tucks in underneath there. And then this is a double pocket. A double pocket tuck spot with journal. How would you get all that? So this, this one, um, this journal card goes in the back. And then this uh, snowman, he goes over there. And then this one. Oops, I guess he tucks this way. Who do I... I guess I had it that way. Then he goes in there, and it might have even been different. I don't remember. <laughs> and then some washi. And then, like I said, I just had a bunch of these things, and I said, we're using them. 
So, and then the backs, like I said, if you flip it this way, the back, oh, isn't it cute? I know, I'm sorry. So I took this scrap and made a belly band here, punched out a circle with this little um, piece of card, and made a little round journal card there, and then took this blue poinsettia and put some washi on there and made a little journal card out of it here. And then went around, I don't know if you could tell, went around with the pink jelly pen and drew around it, put a little Mary and Bright washi on there. But, oh, I know, I'm sorry. I think these turned out really cute. Toot toot, I really like them. Then this one, I glued a little snowflake on there because I just thought he needed it. And then this time, I'm not gonna pull <laughs> on the pocket to get it out. See if I'd have thought earlier and put a thumb hole in there, but I didn't. So we have this little journal card with some silver and white polka dot. Then this little one with um, washi on the back and some washi on the front. And that goes in the back pocket. And then this one goes up front. Doo -doo -doo. And then you open it up and you have this journal card with this little hoot owl. And I put some farmhouse gingham on there. Then I took and put a belly band with a piece of scrap that I cut off on here and then put had this little square scrap and this little car scrap that was stuck in my washi scrap drawer. Then I took this, put washi on there, took my marker, drew down the sides, and just made that a large journal card. I don't know why I can't get this in here. Um, it's, there's plenty of room. And then this just goes in here because you know I had to I had to fight and struggle online, I mean on on live air. And so this one is the little gingerbread gin, gingerbread man again, you know drew around it with some extra stitching, put some washi on here, took that bird, punched a, a two inch circle out of it, took this little birdie, just turned him into a journal card, and then took that little house, cut him down, and cornered um, angled the corners, and made a little tuck spot there, I mean a little journal card there, and then the back, I know, put some paper on there just so you can write so it wouldn't be just plain, took this little uh, part um, card and put some washi on it and the washi on the back just so it would have a little extra personality, I know some I didn't give extra personality, some I did, and then this one, just um, the blue poinsettias with some snowmen on the bottom again, and it goes in that other pocket and then here I had an extra holiday greetings I put it on there I put one of the little small cars that I had um, snipped off and then this little one I made a tag out of so it can go in there so that's that one let me make sure I'm still filming because you know I'm I'm pushing it with all the videos today all right and then this one has Oh, I'm doing it again. <laughs> I'm pulling the back pocket. I'm like, why is this not coming out? Because I'm holding that blue pocket. Oh. Okay, so this is the back card with some of the farmhouse green gingham. Oh, I know. I don't know why. but <laughs> And then this little birdie, just like the other ones, he goes in the front. <laughs> oh, I have to send instructions. How to, how to take your, <coughs> excuse me, things out of your pockets. All right, then it opens up, and let's see. Oh, this, I just had a little extra um, Happy Holiday that made us a little, little tuck spot. Then this is a little journal card that I put in here. And then this is a little notepad with some um, scrap papers that I just put in here so you'd have, you flip up and have all those little places to write. Then, you know, this journal card holds it down. And then this goes up in that little tuck spot for some of you know I had that little piece of peppermint that I punched holes out of and then this has got a little double pocket on the side then this flips out and I put some note paper on here and I used a large label folded it for a hinge and then stenciled and then just had this um, scrap paper I stenciled on the back I know this one I got I started stencil and I was like oh, I'm tired and then this little birdie, I just cut him down and put some washi on front to put him on here. 
and then the fish just goes in here and oh well the bird holds them down and then the back I just put um, this turn that little into card into a journal and I mean pocket blah 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 stenciled in here with the um, oh Christmas tree stencil with um, two colors inks then took this birdie part put some washi down the side and then the back is just some scrap um, dauber ink thing that I had laying in my scrap thing that just happened to go with these colors so that's how I got that one and then I just put the little bird in there so you can see them so there's that one and last but not least this one does not have a pocket it's just a regular card but that's where the regular stops so I have this as a little flip up and then this card comes out and then it has just this note um, paper on the back and some washi and then this we put on here we did this one together and we you can journal on there so this goes down this goes in here and no it doesn't have anything to hold it down but you know you could put something there but I think it's okay when you close it it's fine then we have this little side that I used and put as a, a little corner tuck and then this one put a little pocket with the washi some um, journaling spot back there this little house as a tag and then this goes in here and then like I said it just closes and then on the back we have a double pocket and I did leave this plain I know it looks naked but you can write on there I mean even with black ink <laughs> and so here's this little oh snap my gingerbread's upside down well anyway gingerbread man's upside down I know I'm wondering now if I got to put some more washi on there around the corners and you know what the answer is yes and then I have this little um, journal card that's going to go in here so oh, man see that's what happens when you hurry so I'm going to put some more washi down here because this needs to go in there and I got to round the edges and I can't have my gingerbread upside down he's got to be right side up so anyway that is all of the cards that that we've spent days on these series so you can see all the ones that we did and um yep they're gonna be going to some happy home that's on my oh these are just extra scraps that I'm not looking at I don't know I might put one of these in, in <laughs> anyway I might have room for an extra tuck here and there but these are all of the the cards Oh, and then this one, which I think I'm claiming. Um, can you even see that one? Yes. So there's all of these crazy greeting cards gone wrong. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed this little series, and I hope you enjoyed the flip through, and I hope it gave you a little bit of ideas. And um, it's just a quick little bonus video. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing time with me. Thanks for sharing your day. Thanks to everybody. And um, I think on the next winter draw, instead of doing each one and posting it, I think I'm going to go in there and make a list of number, I think we were on number 14 or 15. Heck, I don't know. I think I'm just going to do the next couple of people on one thing and put their numbers next to it. Y'all know where it is. And, and I'm fair. I'm not cheating. And so anyway, I'm just putting them on there. And whoever the random picker picks, that's who they get. So I will see y'all in the next video. Let me go fix my crazy little gingerbread man. And um, lots of love, lots of kisses. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and happy holidays. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.